Today, we embark on an exciting journey into the world of mysterious and incredible creatures that have never crossed your path before. In this video, we will explore the astonishing forms of life, getting to know them from both the outside and inside. Get ready for breathtaking discoveries and unexpected surprises as we set out in search of the most enigmatic beings on the planet. Welcome to Top Facts channel, enjoy the viewing, and let's go. In ancient times, when humans first started to familiarize themselves with the wild nature, they were often amazed by the unusual creatures that remained apart from the ordinary fauna. One of these mysterious beings was the curly-crowned parakeet, also known as the feather duster. Scientists are still studying this rare mutation with a recessive mode of inheritance, which likely damages the gene-controlling feather growth cessation. As a result, the bird develops excessively long feathers throughout its entire life. Interestingly, the curly-crowned parakeet earned its name due to the external resemblance of its plumage to a feather duster used for dusting. In Russia, these birds are often called chrysanthemums, or orchids. However, despite their attractive and exotic plumage, feather duster parakeets face numerous challenges. Due to the excessive feather growth, they often struggle to climb, fly, or groom themselves, and may have difficulties determining their gender, leading to ambiguous series. Moreover, they have a very short lifespan as they lack essential nutrients. Nevertheless, owners of curly-crowned parakeets claim that careful care allows them to enjoy life and allows us to admire their beautiful and mysterious appearance. Next, we have a mysterious creature that unexpectedly turned out to be a rodent, not a rabbit, although it's called the Patagonian Hare. It is truly an unusual animal species, ranking as the fourth largest rodent on the planet. How is it possible for a rodent to weigh up to 35 pounds? What does it eat? What does it look like? The appearance of the Patagonian Hare can be described as a combination of different animals. It has the body of a small deer, the ears and legs of a rabbit, and overall resembles a chupacabra. It's indeed a strange sight, but it has its advantages. It inhabits the grasslands of South America where it feeds on grass and droppings? Why does it need that? How does it digest vegetation? The Patagonian hare employs a unique strategy for digesting vegetation, which involves consuming grass and fermenting it in its stomach with special bacteria. This helps it extract all the nutrients from the plant material, and then it supplements its diet by consuming feces, especially from sheep. It also possesses a highly developed sense of smell and uses urine to mark its territory and attract mates. Furthermore, the Patagonian hare can run very fast, up to 45 miles per hour, when in danger. Despite this, the Patagonian hare remains a rare and mysterious creature. Underwater photographer Atsushi Sasaki once again demonstrated to the audience that marine life is not only diverse but also astonishing. While diving off the coast of Ishigaki Island, Japan, he encountered a creature known as Costasiela Kuroshima, or leaf slug and sheep leaf. The uniqueness of this slug lies in its tiny and quite adorable face. Commenting on his video, Atsushi stated that he delightedly observed this strange creature resembling a miniature sheep or a cute and not at all frightening ghost. Life on planet Earth is truly amazing, and in every corner, one can discover something fascinating and mysterious. Next up, we have the Surinam Toad, an extraordinary creature with unique abilities. To begin with, the Surinam Toad is one of the most unusual toads on our planet. It can reach sizes of up to 8 inches and inhabits the tropical forests of Suriname and Guyana. But what makes this toad so unique? The answer is simple. It's skin. The skin of the Suriname toad is covered in numerous small spikes that contain a toxic substance. If a predator attempts to attack the toad, it quickly inflates its body, transforming into a true spherical defense. This is the reason why the Suriname toad earned its name, Pipa, which translates to ball. Furthermore, the skin of this toad contains another unique substance, peptides that possess antimicrobial properties. Researchers are studying these substances to create new antibiotics capable of combating various diseases. However, not only science is interested in the Surinam toad, 
Its skin emits a unique scent that attracts not only predators but also humans. In Suriname, local residents use the skin of this toad as a fly swatter and mosquito repellent. Let's talk about bearded pigs. These enigmatic creatures with long hair on their snouts look absolutely unique and attract the attention of many people. But who are they really? Bearded pigs live on the Malay Peninsula, Borneo, Sumatra, and nearby islands. They usually inhabit dense forests and spend most of their time searching for food on the ground or in tree roots. But what's so special about these animals? Bearded pigs have a stunning appearance, with long white hair covering their snouts and necks, as well as light brown fur on their bodies. They look as if they grew a beard, hence the name bearded pigs. These animals can weigh up to 220 pounds, and their body length can exceed 3-3 three, three feet. Bearded pigs are omnivorous and can feed on vegetation as well as animals, including snakes, lizards, larvae, and carrion. However, despite their unique appearance and behavior, bearded pigs are facing the threat of extinction. Due to deforestation and illegal hunting, many of them are now considered endangered by scientists. This means that we must preserve their lives. So if you ever find yourself in the forests of Malaysia, Borneo, or Sumatra, be sure to pay attention to these enigmatic creatures. They are unique and essential members of the ecosystem that need to be protected and conserved. In the distant tropical forests of Central and West Africa, there lives an amazing frog called the Goliath frog, which can reach the size of a large cat. This is one of the largest species of frogs in the world impressing with its size and beauty. Let's tell you more about it. The Goliath frog got its name after the biblical hero Goliath, known for his giant size and strength. And this name is justified. Male Goliath frogs can weigh up to 6, 5 pounds and reach a length of 13 inches. Females are slightly smaller but still impressive. The Goliath frog is very attractive with its body covered in bright green skin with large black spots. Moreover, it has large pupils and golden eyes that can appear quite hypnotic. It's worth noting that the yellow marks on the frog's body help it mimic the eyes of large predators, deterring other predators and protecting itself from attacks. The Goliath frog inhabits tropical forests and water bodies, where it feeds on various insects, spiders, and other small animals. Additionally, this frog is known for its enormous strength, it can lift objects several times heavier than its own weight. Despite its large size, the Goliath frog is a relatively peaceful creature and does not pose a threat to humans. Unfortunately, the population of this species has been decreasing recently due to the destruction of tropical forests where these frogs live. The Goliath frog is not only a large and beautiful animal, but also an important element of tropical forest ecosystems. Some of the most amazing animals on Earth are not predators or exotic creatures, but domestic animals, such as the pygmy donkeys. Pygmy donkeys are small donkeys that inhabit the island of Majorca, Spain. They are among the smallest donkeys in the world, and many people find them incredibly cute. Pygmy donkeys have soft, fluffy ears that are incredibly pleasant to touch. Their fur can be white, black, or gray, and it is also very soft. But the most amazing feature of these donkeys is their ability to remember faces. Long ago, pygmy donkeys were used by locals as working animals, but currently their population has decreased to only a few dozen. Nevertheless, local residents take care of them tenderly and help them survive. Once, a family from afar came to the island. The children saw the pygmy donkeys and wanted to pet them, but the donkeys got scared and ran away. However, the next day, when the children returned, the donkeys were already waiting for them and gladly approached to let them pet them. How did they recognize the children among many other people? Research has shown that pygmy donkeys can remember and recognize up to 50 faces. They can remember the faces of people who treat them kindly and will be afraid of people who treat them rudely or cruelly. Thus, pygmy donkeys are not just cute and fluffy animals, but also intelligent and social. In the world of animals, there are many breeds, but there is one breed of chickens that stands out among all others, the Ayam Kamani. These chickens, along with horses, bears, and dogs, have a black color, but in Ayam Samani, 
It is not just the black color of feathers, but the entire body is completely black. In this breed of chickens, the skin, bones, internal organs, as well as the meat and blood, are all black. Why are these chickens so special? It all comes down to the EDN3 gene, which causes hyperpigmentation. In I am Semini, the activity of this gene is 10 times higher than in ordinary chickens. This gene also makes I am Semani more adaptable to climate changes and resistant to diseases. The meat of I am Semini, naturally black in color, has a more pronounced pleasant taste. Breeding these chickens is cheaper due to not needing to constantly feed them antibiotics. Despite all the advantages, the I am Semini breed is extremely rare outside of Asia. In Bali, they are even used in cockfighting. Ayam Semani is a breed of chickens that has practically become a symbol of Indonesia. The price for one chick of this breed can reach $200. In the USA, these chickens are considered the most expensive. The price for one chicken can reach $2,500. Here's a fascinating snake that conquered the internet. It's all about its unusual coloration. The Royal Lavender Albino Python looks as if it's covered with yellow-colored smiley faces. The pattern on this snake is strikingly beautiful, with three little faces that appear as if the snake is smiling. Similar coloration can be found in other animals such as horses, dogs, birds, cats, and pigs. The Royal Python, also known as the Ball Python, is a non-venomous snake found in Africa, south of the Sahara Desert. It is very popular as a pet due to its size and temperament. However, opinions on social media are divided. Some consider keeping such a creature at home to be sheer madness, while others are amazed by the python's unusual coloration. The breeder of this reptile admits spending several years to breed a white python with yellow blotches on the skin in the form of smiley faces. The amazing pattern is the result of recessive mutations that occur naturally. Nevertheless, it is highly unlikely to find something like this in the wild. Now let's talk about the poodle moth, an amazing insect with an unusual appearance. This moth is incredibly interesting and unique. It looks like a tiny creature with black bulging eyes and fluffy eyebrows, resembling a snow white poodle. But what is this moth really? Scientists have not been able to determine its exact species. They are characterized by their increased hairiness and their legs and wings are covered with fine fuzz. Their sizes are quite impressive, ranging from one to one six inches. They lack the typical body shape of a butterfly, but have well-developed jaws that allow them to feed on various vegetation. Fascinating, isn't it? The poodle moth is believed to inhabit the tropics, probably in Venezuela. However, research on this species is ongoing, and new habitats may be discovered. Some scientists speculate that the poodle moth could be closely related to the Diaphora mendica butterfly, or belong to the family of silk moths, due to similarities in their antennae and overall appearance. Imagine a creature that looks like a cross between a horse and a rhinoceros, but has a peculiar trunk resembling that of an elephant. Sounds amazing, doesn't it? That's exactly what you can say about tapirs. Tapirs are forest animals that inhabit the regions of Central and South America. Their name comes from the word tapuira in the Tupi language, which means animal that leaves traces on the ground. Tapirs are very unusual creatures with many unique features, including the presence of a trunk, the absence of lungs in the hind part of their bodies, and four toes. Tapirs can adapt to various environmental conditions and can be found in forests, near water bodies, and even in open spaces. They highly value water, as it is essential for their survival. Using their trunks, tapirs can collect water and food, including grass, fruits, and tree bark. Tapirs have several relatives in the animal kingdom, including horses and rhinoceroses. Furthermore, tapirs can change their coloration to blend with their habitat. Despite their exotic nature, tapirs are not considered rare animals, but remain some of the most mysterious creatures on the planet. In the vastness of the ocean, there are many mysterious creatures, each of them unique and amazing in its own way. One such creature is the Salpa maguirai, a rare species of marine fish discovered in 2014 by fisherman Stuart Fraser in New Zealand. At first glance, this creature appeared to be nothing more than a crumpled plastic bag, but the fisherman's keen eye revealed its true nature. Salpa maguare is a transparent fish covered in a tough scale that does not hinder the view of all its internals. Thanks to symbiotic bacteria living in its body, 
the salpa can emit light, making it even more unique. This marine creature has a barrel-shaped form and moves in water by pumping it through its transparent body. Its heart is located on the ventral side, and its body is covered with a transparent tunic, through which one can see ribbons of circular muscles and intestines. Salpa maguire primarily feeds on plankton and is completely harmless to humans. Its transparent body is just a way of protection against predators, but it also allows us to see the fish's internal organs and systems. Despite its unusual appearance, Salpa maguire is an important element of the marine ecosystem and often becomes food for some fish and sea turtles. Next, we will tell you about a rather unusual creature that has won the hearts of not only New Yorkers, but also Africans. It's the Mwanza flat-headed Rakagama, a reptile that can mimic Spider-Man. This lizard lives in Kenya, Tanzania, and Rwanda. It draws attention with its red and blue costume, resembling the one worn by Spider-Man in comics. But that's not the only similarity to the superhero. The Mwanza Agama can strike heroic poses similar to those of Spider-Man and even has a muscular body, measuring 12 inches in length. However, despite its vibrant colors, the Mwanza Agama is far from being a real superhero. In the face of any danger, it quickly retreats into the cracks of rocks and rapidly changes its bright combat colors to a modest camouflage. This tactic helps it survive in the wild, where any display of bravery can be fatal. Nevertheless, despite its unusual appearance and habits, the Mwanza Agama finds its fans. It has followers in Africa, Europe, and America, where it enjoys immense popularity due to its superhero-like colors. Additionally, the Mwanza Agama can make an ideal pet. It is undemanding and quickly gets accustomed to its owner. So if you've ever dreamed of having your own Spider-Man but can't kidnap an actor, the Mwanza Agama will be an excellent choice. Next, I will delight your eyes greatly because the next animal looks simply unique. It's the Suffolk sheep breed, which is one of the most productive in the world and originates from England. This breed is the result of crossing the Norfolk Horned and Southdown varieties, which gave a unique and productive sheep breed. They are characterized by a strong build, a black head without a woolly fleece, and no horns. They inherited qualities such as endurance, physical strength, adaptability to harsh climatic conditions, and powerful muscular build. Additionally, they have high-quality wool. Suffolk sheep are one of the most productive sheep breeds in the world, which has gained popularity among sheep breeders worldwide. They are mainly used for meat production, but their wool can also be utilized for various purposes. Over 200 years have passed since the first mention of the Suffolk breed in documents dated 1797, but this sheep breed continues to amaze with its uniqueness and productivity. Sheep breeders worldwide take care of preserving this breed and continue to work on its improvement. A person from Beijing went on vacation to one of the most remote corners of China. Fortunately, his car was equipped with a dash cam, as what he discovered shocked everyone. You can see what appears to be a living mini dinosaur that somehow ended up there. Could this be a result of experiments in Chinese laboratories gone wrong? No one has been able to provide a definitive answer to this question, leaving only speculation. The Chernobyl nuclear power plant accident was undoubtedly a monstrous catastrophe of global scale. However, in the exclusion zone, as many claim, mutant animals dwell. Instead, some people create and perpetuate myths about gruesome monsters that emerged as a result of radiation exposure. For example, there is this huge, flesh-like creature without eyes and a mouth. Honestly, I don't know if it's photoshopped or not, but in any case, it looks incredibly disgusting. It has been almost 37 years, but this accident still gives rise to numerous scary stories and myths about various mutants. Have you ever heard of a plant named after the most famous vampire in world literature? This incredible plant is called the Dracula Orchid and is considered one of the most exotic and rare orchids in the world. 
It grows in the tropical forests of South and Central America and earned its name due to its unusual appearance. Its flowers resemble teeth and its stems look like the head of a vampire ready to bite its prey. When an insect approaches the flower, it falls into a narrow vase and can only escape through small openings. Along the way, the insect pollinates the flower, helping the plant spread its species. The Dracula orchid is a plant that will forever be remembered, not only for its unique appearance and beauty, but also for its adaptive qualities that allow it to survive in harsh conditions. It serves as a wonderful example of how the beauty and mystery of nature can inspire and captivate humans. So, my friends, those were the most unusual creatures on the planet. If you enjoyed this episode and would like to see more, click on the second part on the right side of the screen.